Actually, before we do get into the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring today's Rocket League video. This site provides flexibility and safety to every single order. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do some insane deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout to get yourself 3% off every single order. Do you guys want to be in with the chance of winning yourself these exotic black velos on my car right now? And if the answer is yes, make sure you are following these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on so you guys do not miss a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video. And third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, tell me which platform you are on. And as always, I wish all of you the best of luck. The winner will be announced at 70,000 subscribers. So as you guys can see on screen right now, today is the day where we're buying the very first titanium white black market and i can't even express how insane of a trade this was all right guys so welcome back to the channel once again i hope you're having a fantastic day as always and today i'm going to be showing you episode 7 of the brand new series going from one single key all the way to the titanium white shattered so previously on the channel you guys would have noticed that i literally sold every single expensive item in my inventory just to get myself a loads of pure keys and you will not believe today the price that we actually pay for the titanium white black market and if you guys haven't seen this series before or if you've missed an episode i would highly recommend you go to episode one and make your way back to here because i give you guys so many tips and tricks for like small inventories big inventories and so many different methods on how i make you guys a load of profit so yeah if you guys do want to support the channel and support the series in general make sure to drop a like on the video and if we get 1000 likes in the very first 24 hours let's just say the daily uploads will continue Continue. And if you guys have not already, make sure you have dropped a sub to the channel and turned on post notifications to not miss a future Rocket League upload. And let's get into the trades. I hope you guys do enjoy. Okay, so to kick things off, we actually find the very first trade right here, and it is going to be selling our Spectre Mystery Decal once again. What I want to do and show you guys is how you can just buy and sell different black markets and make yourself a ton of profit. Because last episode, we bought a Spectre for three keys, and obviously, as you can see right now, we are selling it for four and add. So Normally with Spectres on my main account, I really try and push for 5 keys, but at the same time, Spectres around 4, it's been sat around 4 for a very long time, so even so, I'm still going to take this as adds, the Anodized Pearl is around a key, and obviously we've already got one, but that doesn't even matter anyway, and the Sky Blue Endo should be around a key as well, so really don't mind doing that trade. Alright, so next up, here we go, I'm going to have a lot of shots fired at me, like, what are you doing, Zenic? You're meant to be teaching us, not throwing away profit, and I can agree with you guys 100%. Here is another opportunity of where I actually might take an L. And buying an Intrudium is the biggest mistake of my life. Do not do it. I'm telling you guys now because Hextide and Intrudiums, obviously, they're in a new crate. Well, they're not the new crate, the oldish crate. They're from the Ferocity, but obviously, with the new crate coming out, all of them are just turning old now. So, no one really wants to go near them. And Intrudium, over the past couple of days, has been constantly dropping. Everyone's been trying to sell it. So, I would really stay away. If you are paying five, that's probably the max I would go to picking one of these up. And with that being said, I actually managed to find myself such a good deal right here for my Lime Fennec. And obviously, I paid, I think it was last episode as well, I paid one key and a Crimson Nimbus, I think it was, for this Lime Fennec. Obviously, the Crimson Nimbus in the long run might be worth a little bit more just because it's Crimson. It's the second best color in the game. However, the Fennec is a new car and it's got an Octane hitbox. So, it's sort of stable in price. Obviously, it's got to keep on dropping a little bit. But it's reasonably stable. So I kept on listing it up on the LFG. And eventually I found a guy that wanted to do 7 keys. And considering at the time it was around 4 to 6. That is an incredible trade right there. So I really cannot complain. Alright so obviously with this series I do so many trades on a regular basis. And I've realised now for I think about the past like 20 trades. I haven't actually succeeded with this. It's starting to get a little bit harder. But at the end of your post I can recommend this. At the end of your post you want to put have one key want any black market and most of the time i'm not gonna lie you're gonna be getting solar flares or people saying add for solar flare or add for tune etc but you just don't want to add at all if you are adding make sure it's just complete garbage because in the long run i can guarantee to every single one of you no matter who you are you are getting yourself two keys for the solar flare because it's sat around i think at 1.5 to 2.5 so people that actually want it will pay two keys and here we go we have the biggest trade of the series so far and one of the biggest trades and profitable trades i think i'm ever gonna make on a nothing something ever that is just period um so i actually find myself a guy from listing up all the keys so obviously look at the key count right now it's looking spicy i've got so many keys so i listed all of them up on the lfg this guy came across me and he was like okay i've got a titanium white mainframe looking for 70 keys and instantly i didn't even try because normally i try like knock it down a little bit 
I don't really like taking the first offer, but I was like, okay, join up. Invite him to the party. He seemed super chill. And obviously, we actually did the trade. And I got myself a titanium white mainframe for 70 keys, which is absolutely absurd. However, we're buying such a big item, obviously, for an absolute snipe. It's sort of like, I don't know how to say it. It wasn't bad at all, but it took me a while to sell. because I didn't want to sell it for 80 keys because every single person under the sun was offering 80 keys. No one was offering higher. So, I'm not going to lie to you boys. Little heads up. It takes me a while to sell this mainframe, which actually neglects my inventory. Because now I've only got two trash and two intrudiums at least. Um, and then a few other items as well. Got a soda flare, a few keys. Nothing amazing. Uh, but this is just a basic trade. Every single anodized pearl is selling for no more than a key. And obviously I've got three of them. So, yeah. Just trade it. Like, if you've got one on you, just take a key. Unless you like it, obviously. Just keep it for your car. So, here we have the aftermath of actually buying the solar flare for one key. Waiting a little bit of time. This one didn't take too long. It took, like... I'd say 45 minutes to an hour. It normally takes days upon days to find a guy. Uh, but yeah, we actually managed to find a guy that wanted to do two keys for the solar flare, like a casual trade. I mean, it's worth that on a spreadsheet. So people that generally want to buy it are not going to offer. Well, if they offer one key, just say NTY. And eventually you should be able to get two. But like I said, it, it doesn't work as much as it used to. Because I did this back in like early 2018. And it worked like an absolute gem. I would say every 15 minutes I was picking up black markets. But... Since there's a lot of people doing it now from this nothing something, it's a little bit harder. But yeah, a decent trade right there. So now I find myself in a position, I know at this point that every single person offering for the mainframe is going to completely lowball me. I literally had offers of like heat and ads for the mainframe. It's just ridiculous at this point. So I just figured I might as well list up other stuff and start offering on other people's posts. Trying to buy items and then sell them just to make myself a little bit more profit. And then once I sell the mainframe, if I've already made that initial profit... I am going to be absolutely balling. So you're going to see me here right like right now. Pick up a Saffron Octane for 8 keys and tiny ads. I was going to add just one wheel. But then he said add a little bit more. And realistically the Saffron Octane I can get about 10 to 11. So I really can't complain. And surprisingly enough I actually found a guy that wanted to sell me a load of his junk. But then I realised in his inventory he had a tune sat in there. So you know what I'm going to be offering. It's going to be one key. I slapped him with it. I said the only thing I'm interested in is that tune right there. And eventually, after a little bit of time, he took out everything, put in the tune, and ticked up. So, happy days. And that's normally what people do whenever they want to, like, rush open a crate or something, or they're just looking for keys. That's when it's the perfect opportunity to snipe yourself a black market with that one key. But, like I said so many times, it's nowhere near as easy as it used to be. So, then, literally three hours later, I had a little bit of a break from trading. I came back, and I would say about three hours in... I could not find a single trade. It was ridiculous. Because look at my inventory realistically. I've got two intrudiums. Which are just garbage. <laughs> I don't know how many times I need to say that. But they're just dropping dramatically. So no one wants them. And it just looks really bad in my opinion. And then you've got the tunes as well. They just weren't selling for two keys. It takes a while. Then obviously we've got the main investment. Which is the mainframe. And I kept on getting lowballed on that. So I thought why not just accept this trade. I need to get a Saffron Octane gone. Get myself some key back. So I can keep the movement going. So yeah. Don't mind taking this trade. So funnily enough we find ourselves the very first painted black market gold explosion. That we're going to be buying today. And it's a bit of a weird one. I can't say it's the most expensive one in the world. And it's Burnt Sienna Singularity. But the price that we pay is not even too bad I guess. Like it's going to be really hard to sell. So it's not going to be the easiest at the moment. My inventory is lacking quite a bit. Because uh, we've only got a few keys left. And we've got a load of trash black markets like Intrudiums and Tunes, etc. They really aren't going to be easy to sell. But even so, if I'm getting rid of the Anodized Pearl. And I'm also doing a key on top. For an item that's worth around 4 keys. Um, not too bad of a trade, I guess. And of course, it would be my luck to finish on another trade. Which could be and probably is going to be a definite L if I don't shift it rapidly. And you do not want to do the same. You do not want to pay 9 keys for a hex tide that's gone down two keys in the past 48 hours. You just don't want to do it. I honestly wouldn't pay more than I would say six right now for the hex tide because it's dropping dramatically. Obviously, it's an old black market, so no one's going to be wanting it. The hype's going to be dying down a bit, unless the painted ones, but I feel like even the average painted ones like Cobalt, stuff like that, will probably start slipping down as well. But yeah, with this hex tide, it's going to be a real struggle to get profit on. So that is the final trade for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope the tips and tricks helped you guys out as well. And if you do want to see another video and you want to support the channel and series, etc. Drop a like and if we get a thousand likes, I'm going to set the goals a little bit lower from now on. Um, so yeah, a thousand likes and I'll keep the daily upload streak going. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you have dropped a sub to the channel and turned on post notifications to not miss a future Rocket League upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.